Amigo. And both horses go around in race one, the Romario Handicap on Sunday. Let's have a look at Jew Home under Jay D'Souza, winning from Happy Amigo last weekend. And then came Happy Amigo, further back to Jetstar Eagle, and then came Conquistador. It's Jew Home in front, gee, Happy Amigo. He's really laying out there over the final stages. It's Jew Home in front, though, close to home, and Jew Home for Jay D'Souza takes out race four. Jew Home has won from Happy Amigo and Pegasus Genius. They were followed by Jetstar Eagle and then came Racing Man. The nine-year-old Rush returned to the winner's circle last weekend when he defeated V Respect You. Uh, both horses Quinella to race over 1,400 metres. They'll clash again this weekend. They both go around in race two Sunday. Let's have a look at Rush defeating V Respect You. You still in front of my goodness, but here comes Rush down the outside. Rush goes up to hit the lead from V Respect You, and then came my goodness battling on there with Charlie came along. It's Rush in front though, and Rush. Rush gets the prize over V Respect You, third, my goodness. They were followed by Charlie came along. Next over, German Speed, Whisper in the Wind. We'll be back. Now, this is a succession, given a light workout on the sand, and a succession is coming off a win two starts ago back on the 3rd of September and uh, went up to uh, Penang in Class 4 grade and uh, pulled up blame there. So there were excuses for succession last time out. Uh, trained by Kevin Coatesy, succession will be going around in race number three and will be ridden by S. and and draws gate three. Uh, that's the Pele handicap, succession. Now Da Vinci's had the uh, three runs here in Malaysia and his most recent effort was a very good one when he closed off well and uh, ran third behind nothing to lose here uh, last Saturday. Let's have a look at Da Vinci in the uh, blue colours and yellow cap down the outside running third. Side Da Vinci and further back to Leica Tiger dropping out D Great Grace. It's nothing to lose with 100 to go. Flying Darcy is quickly cutting down the margin. Uh, nothing to lose. Holding on though. Getting close to home. Diving. Flying Darcy. Nothing to lose. Does it again. Uh, nothing to lose. Goes back to back. And wins from Flying Darcy Da Vinci. And fourth is Leica Tiger from Anak Warrior. Our river. Now this is Great Prince working up on the sand Tuesday morning. Has had a stable change recently now with Kevin Coatsy and uh, Great Prince, the Malaysian bred six-year-old. Only the one win from 43 starts in its career and uh, Great Prince will be ridden by Jay Daniel and uh, goes around in race four. That is Great Prince. OD Star is also engaged in race four on Sunday and will have to improve on recent form. Has had the 10 race starts with three placings to its credit and a WK Yarn will take the ride on the uh, Peter Lee trained runner. And uh, that is OD Star, the four year old Australian bred gilding. Uh, bred to stay is OD Star and steps up to 1800 metres for the first time. Now this is the uh, nine-year-old time to shine. He goes around in the 1800 metre cross handicap on Sunday. And uh, of course proven over the journey, has won twice at 1800 metres in the past. And he's an on-pace runner. He's coming off a last start placing there on the 3rd of September. Time to shine will be ridden by his regular jockey S. Saddam. He draws barrier six. Time to shine. Now this is the KL visitor, I speak of The Streets and uh, The Streets was due to run last weekend but of course the race got cancelled and he'll be second up. He has been freshened up since his last start performance there on the 20th of August. Former Singapore galloper, he should uh, strip a lot fitter this time around of The Streets and he'll be going around in the PK handicap and uh, that's The Streets who will be ridden by Casey Wong. He draws barrier 14. The horse in front there is uh, Vanderbilt, a former Singapore galloper. In fact, uh, commenced his racing career there in Australia. Only had the four runs in Singapore. 
is coming off a very long break, hasn't had a start since March of 2016. Had very good form in Singapore too. He's worth watching. First up, that's Vanderbilt. WK Yarn takes the right and he draws an outside barrier there in race six. And Piala Imas, Sultan Selangor winner, True Sun, who was uh, being tested there on the sand on Tuesday. And uh, True Sun coming off an unplaced effort there over 1,700 metres. He is quite versatile, goes back to 1,200 metres there on Sunday, has won three times over the journey. And M. Sathia will take the right aboard True Sun in race number six. That's the Cruyff Stakes, True Sun. Triple One De Great was able to lead all the way here last uh, Saturday, defeating uh, Cherish. Looks another chance again this weekend. And uh, Triple One De Great goes around in race seven. Spot followed by Cherish and then came De Great timing, staying on as well. Triple One De Great still leads the way. Trying hard Hoffman and through on the inside it's Cherish. Triple One De Great. It's, uh, here comes the winning post. It's hanging on. Is it going to be a double for Safia? It is Triple One De Great. Triple one D Great hangs on from Cherish and Hoffman is third. Fourth is D Great timing from D Great Talent. And then this is Big Lightning and he'll be going around in uh, race number eight. Big Lightning hasn't been far away in recent starts and the most recent there was in heavy going when he ran fourth in Penang. Hasn't won a race for a while however. You go back to May of 2016. But Big Lightning will be ridden by Zed Carreel and uh, goes around in the Iniesta Handicap. That is race eight. And uh, Russell the Crow, another visitor from KL. And uh, form hasn't been too bad. Uh, has won a Class 4 before. In fact, he's won four times at this level. And Russell the Crow goes around in race number eight and will be ridden by Furman Yap. He draws barrier five. Uh, that is Russell the Crow who will be uh, having his third run back in class four company there on Sunday.